So you've seen the lesson on guaranteeing compression on every single shot. We know if we cover the ball with the chest, we're going to be able to guarantee, and we hit the ball first, we're going to be able to guarantee forward shaft lean so that we can release the club out in front. So now that, that, oh, that makes great sense with the irons, but now you've got the ball up on a tee, it's forward in your stance, and you've got a driver in your hand, and you're asking yourself, can we get that same covering with a driver or even the woods or hybrids when the ball is further up and we have a longer club and we have a different head on the, on the end of the stick? Well, I've got some great news for you. The answer is yes, we can absolutely do the same thing. And the better news is we can do so, uh, with the, the adjustment's hardly even an adjustment at all. We can do so just by understanding the difference between what happens with the driver and the iron and get the same stability through impact that covering the ball gives us. So real quick, I wanna go over again how compression works in the swing, how we can guarantee compression. And this all has to do about how much I'm covering the ball with my sternum or my chest. So again, if I'm standing straight up and down, I have to flip the club to be able to get to the ball. I have to be able to physically reach the ball. I have to flip the club so I can reach it. If I cover the ball with my chest, I'm no longer giving myself the ability to flip the club. I ran out of room to flip, therefore I'm gonna to have to get forward shaft lean so that I can hit the ball. So again, if we cover the ball with our chest and we hit the ball first, then we are going to guarantee that compression on the ball. And again, covering the ball with the chest is simply the same as if I'm covering the ball or I'm covering a house with a roof. If I cover the ball as much as I possibly can, that means my chest is completely over the ball. Now we can't actually do that, so we understand that the covering the ball with the chest is the more that my chest gets lower to the ball, the more I'm covering the ball with the chest. So that's the simple understanding of how we can guarantee that forward shaft lean. And again, that makes great sense with the irons, but what is that adjustment with the longer clubs? Let's go ahead and grab a driver here. And we're going to go over exactly what the difference is between these two. So as we can see, we have a much longer club in our hand so that there's gonna be some differences in our perspective of what we're actually seeing on camera. So if I'm covering the ball with an iron, I can easily see, if I just take my body away, we can easily see we have forward shaft lean and impact. This is a very easy angle to see. But if I cover the ball with a driver, so I'll even put it up on the tee, and I cover the ball with the driver, we're not gonna see as much forward shaft lean. Now I can get a little bit more because I just had one hand on the club, but if we just look at the club at impact, we're not gonna see as much forward shaft lean, but we're still gonna get the compression. So what we need to do is understand what compression looks like with an iron and what the compression looks like with the driver. So if I have uh, the iron in my hand, all I'm going to do at impact is I'm gonna draw a line through my shoulder socket down through my wrist. And if, when that line's on the ground, I need to see space between that line and the club head. Now, when I take the driver, and let's just say I had that same length with an iron, and now I have the length with my driver, and I'm looking at that same thing, we're not seeing as much forward shaft lean, but if you draw that same line, you're gonna see that I still have that same amount of space between that line and my club head at, at impact. And that's the simple adjustment. We want the same swing, it's just gonna be a little bit more on the upswing because the ball's a little bit more forward in our stance. So simply, we're gonna cover the ball with the driver the same way we would do with the irons by getting our sternum closer to the ground, but this, the ball's gonna be a little bit more forward in our stance. So if my sternum's closer to the ground, I'm gonna have that same compression angle at impact. Now, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an added bonus of how to easier uh, how to more easily get your chest to cover the ball because when we have a longer club in our hands, it becomes a little bit more difficult. This is a lot more easier, say, with a wedge. So we're going to actually use two points to help cover this ball. So what I'm gonna have you do is in your uh, setup position, I'm gonna have you draw a line right off your backside. And instead of just thinking about the chest covering the ball, and this is a lot more prevalent, again, with the longer clubs, I'm gonna have you feel like your backside is going through that line at the same time the chest is covering the ball. So you, as you can see by my backside going through that line, it's gonna give me more space to cover the ball with the chest. Now this is gonna be the feel that we're gonna get. We're not actually gonna be able to get this low and if we do, again, that's a very good thing because we can always tone anything we need to down. But my sensation is I'm going to cover the ball with my chest by getting my backside to break that line and getting my sternum to go closer to the ground. Again, now that I'm closer to the ground, I've ran out of room to flip, so I'm gonna to have to get my hands forward and get that compression angle on my drive. This is a position we see all the great drivers and all the touring pros get into, and this is how they can get that stability through impact 
that produces those consistent solid shots. So by simply understanding, covering the ball by breaking the backside, getting the sternum closer to the ground, and then understanding the angle we need to see at impact that that line through our arm is in front of the ball, now we can guarantee compression on every single shot all the way from the wedge all the way through the driver. So let's go ahead and try it out here. Now there we go. If we see this in the slow motion playback and we draw that line through the arm at impact, we're going to see that space between the line and the club head at impact. That's that compression angle we're looking for. And again, my sensation there was I was breaking the backside line so that I could easily cover the ball with the chest, hitting the ball first, and that's going to guarantee that I have that compression angle. Now, when you get the longer club in your hands, you're going to have the tendency to leave the face open because the ball's more forward and you're in a much different position than you're used to. So you could actually see yourself cover the ball, get into a great impact position, you'll get your compression angle, but the ball could go everywhere. So to piece this together to make sure you have the glue that gets this to just absolutely compress the heck out of the ball, we need to make sure that from the top of the swing, we're going to shallow the club out, square the face up, and cover the ball with our lead hand along with covering the ball with our chest. So now we're gonna have a super stable club head through impact and have a square face to our target line. So we're gonna be able to take full advantage of that stable driver head through impact and getting that compression and the covering the ball with the longer clubs. Now I've got a great bonus for you. Owner and head instructor Clay Ballard has a great drill that's gonna show you exactly how to square that club up in detail called the tennis racket drill. We're gonna play a preview of that lesson at the end of this video. And if you wanna see that entire lesson, make sure you click on the iCard that pops up at the top portion of your screen. If you don't see that iCard, that's fine. You can click on the link in the description below and it's gonna show you exactly how to pair up covering the ball and squaring up the club face so that you can guarantee compression on every single shot. I can't wait for you to do it. It's a great feeling to know you're gonna do it on the golf course every single day and you can just increasingly get better at it. All right, we'll see you here in the tennis racket drill. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, I'm going to be rotating.